Yeah, we're here at this uh, RV display. Uh, we're going to take a look around. There's a big one right here set behind us. So we're going to look around and just see uh, see what's around here. They got all kinds of RV. Got a couple salesmen sitting down here in the golf cart. We're ready to attack us. We're look around and see what else they have here. You know, this is a uh, pretty good size one. 2018. A 2018. 146,000. 146,000 dollars. It's a Ford. Yeah. It's got looks like it's got cameras and very roomy. Look at that big TV. It's got a really nice big TV there right up front. It's got pull outs. Looks like it's got pull out on uh, both sides. It's got a uh, leather sofa. Now myself, I don't like leather. A lot of people love it. Look, it's got another TV over here. Um, leather is still, in Florida, it's hot. They say it isn't, but it is. Uh, I, so I don't really care much for leather. Nice big kitchen. Look at this refrigerator. It's got a uh, double door refrigerator, just like you would at home. And that leads back here to the bedroom. And see, the bedroom has a, uh, has a pull out. Pretty cool. Another TV back here. And uh, walk through baths. Big shower. Hey, you know, you could live in this. This uh, definitely uh, would be livable. A little out of the budget, but it's it would definitely be livable. Right, look at this little Winnebago. It's cute. I gotta go over and take a look at that. 18,634. It looks like an old style uh, camper. But it's a brand new one. Stick our head in this a minute there. That's pretty cool. Let's let's just jump up in here once and take a look at it. Yeah, pretty basic, you know. It's got your bed in the back, stove, refrigerator. I'm thinking, uh, you know, it's got a full bath, shower. This is cute. Yeah, I'm thinking they make it round like this to uh, to tow down a road is probably wind resistant at that. So mm -hmm. that's probably the uh, the way it's set up. Small little TV. It's called a chateau. It's a uh, class C. It's got your standard little refrigerator. Uh -huh. The bed's nice. It's got a nice pull out on the side of the bed. Uh -huh. You know, that's that's kind of nice. A nice bathroom. Really. Well, it's got a bed up on top. Really nice bathroom with a, a full shower. But uh, I do like the uh, the way this bed pulls out. It would make it easy to get in and out. It's got your standard classy bed above this, on it. it uh, this is 77000 77000 This is on a Mercedes-Benz chassis. I don't see no television in this one. Oh, here it is. I don't know how convenient that would be just to relax off the side like that. This is actually a Winnebago. They call it a touring coach. It's black. I've never seen a black one. Nice big wide door. They look big. It's on the uh, Mercedes Benz. The uh, back, this is 84,009. Nice breeze coming through here. The cabinets look nice. TV back here. Alright, this one has a the bathroom in the back. Kind of weird. You want to make sure these doors aren't open. <laughs> really? So yeah, it's got a rear rear you bathroom. Have the window so you can't look in. Well, you know, I don't think you can see through those much with it closed up, those darkened darkened doors, you know. Seventy seven six. That's pretty high. Get up there. Now it does have side-by-side um, -side beds, uh -huh. which would be nice. Of course, your TV's here. You could turn around, and watch the TV. But there's no comfort living space here. Well, the, there is on this side over here. Um, I'm not sure when the driver's seat turn around, how comfortable that would be to watch TV. It's not bad because it does have, like I said, you can have two separate beds you can get in and out of it i don't know if i like the uh, uh the back bathroom or not i don't know if i'm crazy about that it's a red one i like red 
so it all right really through. Oh, look at the storage under there. Yeah, a lot of storage, but look how high the bed is. Yeah. Yeah, that's a travattle. Travattle. I don't that right say it right. Again, it's a Winnebago. And uh, it's got a nice little uh, dinette set here. The TV's up there. But it uh, looks cramped. Um, that bed's very high. And how do they do that to. Uh, that? Well, it's just. It's not, it's not huge. No, it's a double, but a small double. And uh, so, I mean, it's all right. It doesn't. Uh, probably wouldn't be much work. Yeah, this is a, a Dodge chassis. It's a little bit smaller than uh, the last couple we looked at. All right, this is a used one. They got it at sixty-nine thousand. Let's say seventy thousand. It's a Ford chassis. Uh, has a couple pullouts. Has a really nice uh, sofa here. And a nice dinette. Looks like the uh, television pulls around, which uh, be all right on down. If he's laying down watching TV, it'd be great. Uh, you'd one side here to be good to watch TV. So, you know, these are things to think of when you. Uh, are looking at RVs is how you're going to be using it. I guess this is the kitchen sink uh, and this is the stove. It's got a full oven and a microwave on it. Uh, this looks like one for a family. They have like a little lounge area here and uh, which turns into a couple bunk beds. Oh nice. And uh, there's they got a nice full-size bed here in the back. It has its own television. Uh, this is the uh, this is the bath. It's got a nice shower. So, uh, yeah, this is nice. If you had a family, this would be great. For a couple, probably don't need all this extra. This is space that could be used for something else. Uh, but for a family, this would be a be a great little uh, little camper. This is a Winnebago here. They call it an Aspect. Uh, Sue would like this one because uh, look how low the step is going into it. That's uh, pretty nice. You'd have to be careful driving around so that you didn't drag that because it is pretty low, but it's great to get in. You can just take one little step, come right into it. It's a Ford chassis. Kind of like the way they've got this up here. I'm sure this, uh, look at here, we've got all these cabinets here. It's got a, uh, looks like a DVR player up here. But uh, I do like, uh, I do like the way they've done the cabinet work up there. It's got a television here that comes out. You can uh, sit and watch it from here. Um, I don't know if those front seats uh, swivel around, but it would be nice. That'd be a nice setting area. I'm sure you could swing the TV around to it. This is 89, 999, 90,000. Done up nicely. I like the way they've done. It looks like stonework around the uh, kitchen there. And your refrigerator's right here. This is the bedroom, which is really nice. I really like this uh, layout on this one. Television here in the back. The uh, bath is uh, got a full bath and shower. It's really, really pretty nice. I, I do like this one a lot. It's a, it's a pretty cool little setup. This is called a Meyer Mar. Meyer Mar. I'm so bad at pronouncing words, but don't matter. a uh, class A. It sets up pretty high when you get up in here because they have a private basement. This is a Ford. Nice and open up here. Big roomy area with the pull-outs. It's your sofa and your lounge. This one runs 120000 which isn't bad when it's uh, compared for a, uh, a big RV. Some of them are a lot more than that. Got a nice big screen TV, full size refrigerator. Again, this is a family then. It's kind of interesting here. Look, it's got a TV up here and a TV down there. The kiddos can lay in bed and watch TV, and that's probably what they would do all day. It's got a shower, bathroom here. Looks like it also has a bathroom in the back. It's huge. Looks like a king size bed. Television that. So. Yeah, it's nice. It's got an extra shower. It's got actually two showers and two bathrooms in it. You know, quite a quite a neat setup, you know. For us, we probably wouldn't need the extra little spot here, but you could probably use it for something. The dogs. What's it got 
This is a uh, mini Winnie. Um, 68,000. 68,000. It's uh, got some pull out. Looks uh, pretty spacious. It's got the uh, typical overhead television up here. So you could uh, virtually set in this lounge and uh, be able to watch television that, which would be nice. And uh, it's your standard double door refrigerator. Um, Fairly spacious here in the bed. It would be good enough for on it. It's got a shower. Shower and the uh, bathroom are uh, are separate. Roomy bathroom. A lot of room in there. So, so many ways a nice little little thing. And again, they about all come with. They caught leather, but it's pleather. It's not really real leather. People get uh, don't understand the difference. I was an upholsterer. Uh, leather is a, a good high quality vinyl um, it's not genuine leather now some of them I can't say they all aren't but uh, I don't guarantee you this is not genuine leather this is pleather so uh, but uh, nice little setup here this is the mini Winnie this one sleeps a lot this is kind of all right we uh, looked at some RVs and you know it's funny I, I looked through all the uh, the newer RVs and I can't say we found anything that uh, we like any better than uh, the one we have you know ours is a 2001 uh, road trek it's the uh, um, versatile and uh, the 190 and uh, you know it, it, the only issue it has that we don't like is the way the bed's configured and uh, everything I look at I found a few that would work but nothing that I would say is ideal you look at some of the uh, uh, bigger class uh, Class C campers, and they got a lot of room, but then they wouldn't work to get around and use it for as being uh, uh, mobile and everything. So, you know, I haven't really found uh, nothing that we liked any better than what we have. All right, we uh, looked around a lot of RVs here. I didn't see any road trucks. These, I've seen uh, a lot of the Winnebago's and Travados. Isn't is Class B? Yeah. Um, isn't Travado a, a Winnebago? Uh, could be. Yeah, so anyways, but didn't uh, really see nothing that I like any better than what we have. But it was fun looking around and uh, taking a look at some of these uh, these RVs there. So, hey, if you liked our little little trip around some RVs, uh, give us the uh, give us a thumbs up. Um, hit the like button and uh, hey, do me a favor, hit the subscribe. We're trying to build up our subscriber list. We're trying to get to 100. I think the last I looked at, we're like 68 or something. But uh, do me a favor, just just hit subscribe. Doesn't cost nothing. And uh, so until next time.